How's the month going? I hope you're still staying active on a daily basis with our workouts. Today's workout is a total body strength and conditioning workout. What you'll need is a pair of medium weight dumbbells between 3 to 5 kilos each. So there will be a total of 8 exercises. Each workout will last for 45 seconds with 15 seconds rest in between. Are you ready? It's going to work on your entire body. We want to focus on a lot of compound movements and you will get your heart rate pumping. So grab your dumbbells. I'm going to go for 4 kilos each. Now before we start our workout, let's do a 3 minute warm up, alright? So stand shoulder width apart with your toes pointed forward and let's start with some nice and easy deadlifts. Keep the dumbbells close to your thighs and up and squeeze your glutes. Back down, up and squeeze your glutes so you should feel the stretch along your hamstrings and as you come up, you should feel your core working as well as your thighs and your glutes. Nice, down and up, very good. Let's just wake the muscles up, get your blood flowing. Up and squeeze. Give me a couple more. Up, down, look down and squeeze up. Now drop one dumbbell. Let's do squats with shoulder press, okay? So I want you to grab one dumbbell with both hands Drop into a squat as you come up, push up into a shoulder press. So back down, up, push up into a shoulder press. Again, with squats, push your butt back and draw the dumbbells up. Nice. Down, go as low as you can and if you can, tap your elbow onto your knees. Down. Bring it back down and up. Do not hunch forward or do not Tiptoe, okay? So back down, push up with your heels and draw the dumbbell straight up and work on your shoulders. Down again and up. Give me a couple more. Down and up. Very good. Now grab both dumbbells. Let's do some bent over row to warm up on your back. So bend from your waist, bring the dumbbells close to your waist and just squeeze your back. Up and down, nice and easy. Up and down. Very good. So you should feel your mid back and your lats working. Now a few more, squeeze up and down and just nice and easy breathing. One more, up and down. Drop the dumbbells down. Let's work on some dynamic stretches, okay? So I want you to step forward, reach up, lunge forward and bring your legs back, up and back. Stretch up, feel your core stretching and reach up. Good. Few more. Stretch up, back, up and back. Last one. And good. Now just shake it out. First workout will be squat with single arm shoulder press. So only using one dumbbell, what I want you to do is step slightly wider than shoulder width apart with your toes pointed forward, okay? Bring the dumbbell right in the center. As you squat down, lift the dumbbell off the floor and flip it up into a nice shoulder press. Again, bring it back down, up into a nice shoulder press. Good. Let's go down and up. Remember, you're squatting down, okay? You're not just bending from your waist. So bend your knees, bring it down, drive it up, and squeeze. Good. Down, up, and squeeze. Give me a couple more, and we want to switch sides. Last one. And now bring it back down. Left arm, up, into a shoulder press. Remember, you're squatting down, so draw your bum down towards the floor. If you're doing this, this is wrong, okay? Squat down, drive it down, and press it back up. Good. Next workout, bent over roll with a deadlift. So grab both dumbbells. I want you to start with a deadlift, down and up. And as you come down, give me three bent over row squeeze, okay? Ready? Let's go. Down, up, down, hold. One, two, three. Squeeze and up. Again, up, arch, squeeze your glutes. And now let's work on your back. 
and up. Good. Bend over, row. Squeeze and row it close to your waist. Draw it towards your abs and up. Remember to breathe in and breathe out. Two, three, and back up. Last one more. Up, squeeze, and one, two, three, and up. Good. Right, this next workout is going to work on your upper body, push-ups, your core, as well as your shoulders. So start in a push-up position, both dumbbells on the floor. Okay, give me a nice push-up. I want you to hop both legs in and bring this up. Okay, that's it. So this is going to work on your cardio as well. Down, up, bring it up, and press it up. That's it. Again, down, push it back into a nice push-up. In, and bring it up. If this is too challenging, what you can do is take a step back into a push-up, take a step in, into a shoulder press. That's it. So choose your option, step out, push up, step in, shoulder press. So bring both legs close together, okay? Hop out and hop in. That's it, a few more. Keep going, five seconds, last one. Out, in, and up. Good, right, side to front raise. Still working on your shoulders, your upper body, your triceps, okay? Grab both dumbbells, raise them to your side, and immediately draw them to the front. Out to the side, and bring it back down, okay? Nice and controlled. Side, bring it forward, out, and side. Good, to the side, forward, whew, this is not easy. If this weight is too heavy for you, you can always choose a lighter option, nice. So, suck your belly in, Control, engage your core, and really use your shoulders as well as your chest muscles and also your upper back. Good. Spread it out, bring it back down. A few more, 10 seconds. Woo! Bring it back down. Up, forward, out, and side. Last one. Up, forward, out, and side. Now, let's get back to work on your lower body as well as your obliques. Lunge and twist, okay? So bring both dumbbells together, okay? Bring them close to your chest. Step right at the edge of your mat. Step forward and twist on the opposite side. Step back, forward on the opposite leg and twist. That's it. So you're working on your legs as well as your oblique with that slight twist. Forward and twist. Very good. Remember again, you're pushing up with your heels and you're engaging your core to find that balance. Push up and forward and up. Good. Keep going now. Up and breathe out. So breathe in and breathe out. Good. Last few more. Twist and up. Last one more. Twist and up. Get down onto the floor. We're going to work on chest press. Chest press with a bridge, okay? So draw your bum up. Imagine there's a line pulling your hips towards the ceiling. Bring both dumbbells up, spread it wide into a chest press and squeeze it. Good. So your toes should be pointed forward and your glutes should be, you should be squeezing your glutes, okay? Up and squeeze. Nice. Lift it high up, do not drop. Lift it high up and nice and controlled. Draw your elbows down, tap gently. Just tap, do not rest them and push them back up. Good, bring them down, up, down and up. Nice, keep going. Give me one more, squeeze, 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 high and down. Drop one dumbbell onto the floor, okay? We want to work on full extension. So grab one dumbbell with both hands, <clears throat> straighten your legs, extend as you crunch up, squeeze and extend, that's it. So draw your knees towards your chest and squeeze, good. Extend fully, up and squeeze, nice. Remember to always keep your lower back on the floor. 
do not arch your lower back extend and knees to chest squeeze lift your shoulders off the floor keep going feel your upper as well as your lower abs working squeeze Breathe in, breathe out. Last one more, breathe in, breathe out. Good job. Last core workout. Drop both dumbbells, okay? We don't need any dumbbells for this. Spider-Man. So get into a high plank position for this workout. And I want you to bring your knee to meet your elbow. Ready? Let's go. Knee meeting your elbow and the opposite side. Good. So again, this workout targets your core as well as your obliques, okay? Remember to keep your back flat. Do not arch up or drop your hips, okay? Keep them straight and bring your elbow to your knee. Good. Keep going. Last workout and you will get a solid one minute break. <sighs> breathe in, control your breathing and breathe out. I can see my sweat dripping. Last one more. And rest it out. That was your first set done. I'm sweaty, I'm feeling really good. You have two more sets to go, okay? So grab some water, wipe your sweat, take this time to really breathe and just relax. We're not rushing, we're completing two more sets. Keep yourself hydrated, okay? <clears throat> right, you have about 20, 30 seconds of rest. So for the second set, I want you to really give your best effort, focus on proper form, make sure that you're not just rushing through the workout, but you're feeling every muscle being worked, okay? So this is also the time for you to adjust your weights. If you want to grab heavy dumbbells, go ahead. If you feel that it is too heavy and you want to go for lighter dumbbells, you can do that as well. So let's start with the first workout. Grab one dumbbell and it's going to be a squat with single arm shoulder press, okay? So stand shoulder width apart, just slightly wider than shoulder width apart. Bend, squat down and up with your shoulder press. Nice. So down and up. Good. Squat back down, look forward and press it up. And remember to breathe, okay? So breathe in and breathe out as you press up. Give me one more on this side. And now let's switch side. Good, up and press. Back down and press. Good, squat down and press it up. Feel your shoulders down and up. It's just a gentle tap on the floor. And press it up one more down and press it up good second workout working on your back grab both dumbbells deadlift to bend over row okay so shoulder width apart relax your knees keep them soft and now let's start with a deadlift down squeeze your glutes go back down and three bent over rows up and squeeze back down squeeze down hold it there and three good up again down up down and hold it squeeze your mid back and back up nice keep going look straight down and hold it one two and three all the way up now let's get into one deadlift up hold it and squeeze good <sighs> Last few more, and done. Now, push up to shoulder press, okay? Choose your option. You can either hop into the workout or you can step in, okay? So let's start on a high plank and let's start with push up. All right, ready, let's go. Push up, hop in, narrow, and shoulder press. Nice. Kick it back, down, up, hop in, and push it up. Again, if this is too challenging, you can take a step back, 
or you can do the push up on your knees, okay? Down, back, and a nice deep push up. Bring the chest close to the floor. Chest close to the floor, up, hop in, and push up. Good. Keep going, guys. It's only 45 seconds of work. Push up and back down. Give me one more. Push up, in, and draw it up. All right. Good. Still working on your shoulders. Side to front raise, okay? So grab both dumbbells. If this is too heavy, you can always go for the lighter weight dumbbells, okay? So I'm going for three kilos each. Up to your side and bring it forward. Yes, you should feel your muscles working. You should struggle, but you shouldn't be struggling too much that you can't get your form right. So bring it side and drop it. Good. Hold it, hover it, bring it to the forward and drop. Nice. Up, bring it forward, open it up and drop. Engage your core, keep your body upright. Do not arch your back, okay? This is wrong. So engage and bend your knees slightly. Drop it back down, up. Whew. I can really feel my shoulders shaking and the muscles are screaming. And down, nice. Lunge and twist. So just drop the weights. Let's hold both dumbbells. Let's step back, start right at the edge of your mat. Bring both dumbbells close together, right in the center. Lunge forward and twist. Good, step back, forward, and twist. Keep going down, and twist. Down, and twist. So look straight ahead to find your balance. Push with your heels, and step forward, take a wide step, and twist, good. Wide step, both legs should be in a 90 degree position. Lunge down, and step back. Alternate legs, okay? And step back. Go down, draw your knee as low as you can towards the floor. Bring it back, down and back. Nice, let's get down onto the floor. Hip bridge and also chest press. So let's start high up, okay? Both dumbbells up, lift your hip off the floor, toes pointer forward, and now let's go into a chest press. I want you to really be conscious and just squeeze your glutes, okay? Squeeze your glutes throughout the entire 45 seconds as well as controlling the dumbbells and drawing them close to the floor and pressing them up. If you find yourself wobbly, that is absolutely fine. This workout will not only strengthen your muscles, it will also strengthen your joints and your bones, okay? So slowly control, nice and control, and press. Draw your hips high. Squeeze your glutes, do not drop them. Up, up, up. Squeeze and control and press. Ha! Good job. Now, let's just drop one dumbbell down. Let's get into full extension, okay? So, one dumbbell with both hands. Extend your leg straight, draw it back, crunch, extend all the way back, crunch up, extend, crunch up, and extend. Good, there you go. Lift your shoulders off the floor, okay? Lift your shoulders. It's not about bringing your neck off the floor. Relax your neck, look straight ahead as you crunch up and draw your shoulders off, good. Crunch in, try to reach the dumbbell to your ankles. Nice, straight legs, crunch, keep going. Up and down, feel your abs burning and good. Drop both dumbbells down. Find a core workout, Spider-Man. Oh, it is a love-hate relationship. It is not an easy workout, but it is an extremely effective workout. So get into a high plank. Let's go. Knee to elbow and knee to elbow. A gentle tap and tap. If you can't reach, that's okay. Just go as far as you can. If this is too challenging, drop onto your knee and just reach 
onto your knee and just reach, okay? I believe that everybody needs a starting point. So choose your starting point and slowly progress. As you progress, up to your toes and reach. Nice, keep going. Knee to elbow, knee to elbow, okay? You're doing so well and you're getting another solid one minute break right after this workout. Ah! Oh my God! Right, that was round two, done. One more set to go. You wanted a full length workout. So I'm giving you a full length workout, okay? We are not stopping right now. Drink some water, wipe your sweat. I'm sweating, you should be sweating. Just bring your heart rate back down slightly. Breathe. And I want you to end the final set strong. Only eight minutes of workout, only eight minutes. Right guys, how are you feeling? Feeling good? I know I am. This workout is so, I, I love this kind of circuit training because it, it doesn't only work on my strength, but it's also getting my cardio up there. And I love the feeling of just feeling my muscles burning and working. Right, grab one dumbbell, okay? Squat with a single arm shoulder press. Let's go, down and push up. As many repetitions as you can. Keep going. Final set. Fire on, push through, let your muscles burn, okay? For your thighs, for your glutes, for your shoulders, let them burn. Because your sweat is your fat crying. Now switch side, okay? Good. Keep going. Press it up, down and up. Woo! Nice deep squat, okay? Draw your bum down, nice deep squat. Squat, look straight ahead, open up your chest. This is the new year, the new month for you to be amazing. Right, both dumbbells, bent over row and also deadlift. So let's start with deadlift. Toes pointer forward, relax your knees and let's go. Down, controlled, up, squeeze your glutes, down and three rows. Back up again, squeeze, engage, down, up, squeeze, down, and three rows. Very good. And now release. Woo! You should also feel your hamstrings working, okay? If you have tight hamstrings, you will really feel it. Down and up. And one, two, three. Nice. Few more, keep going. We don't stop when we're tight. Remember that we stop when you're done, okay? And you're not done just yet. So stay with me, stick with me. Very good. Huh. My favorite workout. I know it's your favorite as well. Push up to shoulder press. I mean, who doesn't love this workout? Come on. It's so difficult. <laughs> Let's go. Ready? Let's go. Push up, hop in, choose your option, up into a nice shoulder press. So push both legs back, push up. Huh. Draw your butt down as you hop in and bring your butt back, okay? So draw your butt down and push up. So it should be jumping into a narrow squat and up. Nice, keep going guys. Down and up. Feel your heart rate, feel that burn. That's a good burn, okay? Whenever you push yourself, when you work out, the afterburn is even more amazing. Your body continues to burn calories even after you work out. So take this time and really push yourself. Good. Now drop both weights. I'm going to go for slightly lighter, okay? So three kilos for my side to front raise. Oh, breathe. No time to breathe, let's go. Side to front. Side to front, and go. Hover, draw it to the front, do not drop. Keep it at your eye level, 
at your shoulder levels and bring it to the side. Good. Keep your back flat, knees soft and to the side. Very good. Halfway there, guys. Halfway there. I know this is burning. I know your shoulders are on fire because my shoulders are on fire. But you will get sexy arms up, forward, and down. Good. Give me two more, okay? And down. Give me one more. Let's go. Up, forward, side, and down. Well done. Right. Back to your legs. Back to your core. Lunge and twist. So choose your weights, okay? Step right at the edge of the mat. My hair is messy, I'm sweaty, but who cares? Let's go! You should be sweaty and your hair should be messy. Twist and go back. Nice. Lunge forward, look straight ahead and twist. Keep going. You are almost there, okay? You have only three more workouts to go. And that's only three minutes left. Let's keep going. Squeeze, down, twist as far as you can and look the opposite side. Twist and look the opposite side. Good, down, twist. 10 more seconds, down and twist. Push back with the heels and twist. Last one, down and twist. Now let's get down onto the floor, okay? Chest press with hip bridge. So lift your hips off, shoulders up, dumbbells up, open it up, squeeze your glutes, ready, and down. And squeeze, okay? When you're right at the top, I want you to squeeze both chests and tr draw them together. Squeeze, good. Squeeze and hold everything for one count. Bring it back down and up, nice. Down and up, down and up. Good, control, tap and squeeze. Remember to keep your wrist straight, okay? Do not overarch your wrist, all right? And the dumbbells should always be in line with your chest. Not too high or not too low. Nice and controlled. Keep going. I can feel my glutes. And just drop one weight down. Let's get into full extension. Both hands holding one dumbbell, extend over your head, legs straight out and ready. Let's get into a full crunch and extend out. Good, crunch in, bring the dumbbell to your ankles. Crunch in, extend it out, crunch in and extend. Very nice, keep going. Breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. There you go, in and out. So the more you're able to learn and pace your breathing, the longer you will be able to push yourself in your workout, okay? It's not just about your strength, but it is also about your breathing. So extend it out and crunch in, guys. Come on, keep going. You have only one more minute left right after this. Just one more workout, okay? Drop both dumbbells down. Let's get into your final workout, Spider-Man. Let's do it. Whoa, 45 seconds left. All right, high plank, let's go. Crunch in, bring it in. Very good. I can see my sweat dripping. Every sweat is basically my effort of pushing myself through the workout and giving my body only the very best because I know that I want to start this year strong, full of energy, and not only will I look good, I will feel good, and you will give me better focus. Keep going, guys. You only have 10 seconds left. What is 10 seconds, all right? Keep driving your knee to your elbow. And right after this, you will get a nice and easy cool down. Oh, well done, right. Now let's just get into a child's pose, okay? Just stretch it out. Just relax. Take this moment to just breathe. Bring your heart rate back down. And just connect with your mind and your body, okay? Just relax and breathe. 
And now, I just want you to, whew, you won't stop. I just want you to bring life forward and slowly push up into a cobra. Draw your shoulders down and just look up. Feel your lower back being stretched out. And just breathe. Okay, do not hunch or draw your shoulders up, push it down and just look up. And from this position, let's get into downward dogs. So push your butt up and just draw your heels to the floor into a high mountain pose, okay? And just look between your legs. Flatten your back, push your palms, push your legs, push your feet into the floor. If you want to, just go into walking dog, okay? So alternate one leg at a time and just feel the stretch on your calves. All right, now draw your right leg forward, step forward. Drop your left knee down and I just want you to stretch. Drop your weight forward, feel your hip flexor being stretched out and just twist on the opposite side, okay? Just twist and look as far back as you can. Good, just keep breathing. And now straighten your leg, stretch your hamstrings. Keep breathing. See, even when I'm just warming down, my sweat is just constantly dripping because my body does not just stop burning right after my workout. It will continue to burn for the next 24 hours. And that's why this kind of workout is so effective, short, but you will see the long-term results and just bend forward. And this stretch will work on your glutes, okay? And now draw your leg back. Let's switch on the other side, okay? So left leg or whichever leg, forward. And I want you to twist and look as far back as you can. Straighten your back, okay? Do not hunch. Open your chest, straighten your back. Good. And now straighten the leg, the front leg, and draw your upper body down and feel the stretch on your hamstrings. And now bend and just drop your upper body forward and stretch out on your hip flexor as well as your glutes. If this is too difficult, you can always start on your palms, okay? Start high up, and as you progress, as you get more flexible, drop onto your elbows. And the further you inch forward, the more you will feel the stretch. Good. And now just slowly push yourself up, okay? And I want you to just sit up, sit tall, and just open your chest, stretch your chest out, from all the chest workout, point both thumbs down and stretch your biceps out and just shake it side to side. And that was a solid 30 minute total body strength and conditioning workout. I'm sweating like crazy. My heart rate is still high up there and I'm feeling so amazing. I challenge you to complete this workout and complete every single daily workout on the Fuel app, okay? Don't forget to share this workout on with your friends, get them to join you and get them to join the daily challenges as well because you guys will stand a chance to win amazing prizes. All the best.